guys, it's Katie, and today I'll be filming my Pretty in Pink tag, and I was tagged by someone in the comments of my yesterday's video. I'm not exactly sure who that is, but um, I know that Spooky Pink Leopard, aka Alexa, I'll have her link in the down bar. I'm speaking very fast today. I'm very hyper right now. I ate a whole Butterfinger, like the big, massive, king size ones. But she came up with this tag, or I think it's a tag, yeah. I don't know if she intended for it to be a tag, but it turned into a tag. She made a couple more videos. There's like the proud and purple, ravishing and red. But today I'll be doing the pink one because last uh, month was breast cancer awareness month so in honor of that I'm going to be doing the pretty in pink tag um, I actually did have a pink hair streak in but it just like fell out last week which was very sad because I love my pink hair streak I had it in for the month of October because of October awareness month October awareness month did I just say October awareness month breast cancer awareness month so the first two things are these pink um, body splashes and they're the pink with this that yeah, pink with a splash soft and pure and they look like this and I have two of them and one of them has li less than the other one because this one I got with my own money and this one I got as a birthday present like probably a week after I got it but I've just been using this one up more um, but I've had this probably for like a year and a half and I still have so much left in it. I used this for gym last year because it's just a really fresh and like out of the shower kind of smell and like kind of like deodorant but I mean it's good it's like fresher it kind of smells like like cucumbers and like flowers and I just dropped one of them. So the second thing is a brush cleanser and it's by MAC and it has this like pink like liquid stuff in it that is the brush cleanser itself. I'm not sure if it's really pink or if it's just like dyed pink, but it's a really pretty like purpley pink, so I just decided to show it to you guys. I actually have a squirt bottle that goes with it that I put the stuff in the squirt bottle to squirt it on my brushes because it is a lot more efficient. Like it uses less of the product, so you'll be able to use it longer. So yeah, it's this pink one, and I'm pretty sure it was like $20, maybe more, maybe less, I'm not exactly sure. I got this from the counter, probably like three, four months ago, maybe more than that, and I still have this much left. But I do um, not really clean my brushes as much as I should. I know it's really bad. You need to clean your brushes a lot. Um, I do when they get like excessively dirty, but I don't use that much like makeup in the morning. I, like, I do. I use a lot of face products, but I use my fingers to apply it because... I don't know, your fingers are like your best tools, I guess. Alright, so the next two things are eyeshadows, and I'm just going to show you one of them first. It's by MAC, and this one is in Pink Venus, and it looks like this. And it is a luster. It's just a pink eyeshadow, and it has some silver, like, shimmeries in it, and I love that. Uh, my mom actually gave me this for my birthday, and I wasn't really sure why she got me pink until, like... Um, she told me that the lady told me that it looked really good on me. She told me that the lady told me that it would look good on my eyes with my brown that I usually use because she told me, she told her that I use Naked Lunch a lot and Naked Lunch apparently goes really well with this. Only worn it once because I went to a breast cancer race so I just wore it to that. I was helping out. I wasn't running, don't worry. The little thing looks like this. It's a duo and it's in Coco Lily. And it looks like this, and it has a brown and a pink, and the pink is kind of like a purpley magenta pink, and it's just a brown. The brown is really hard to use as like an everyday color. It's really highly pigmented, and it's kind of hard to blend. Um, I don't really like that harsh of colors on my eyes in the morning, of course, because it just makes me look downright tired. But, I mean, the pink is really pretty. It's a pearly magenta, and it's really, really soft. So, yeah, Coco Lily. The next thing is a blush, and I actually just got this over the weekend, and it's my first NARS product. So it looks like this. And it's called Deep Throat. Um, NARS has the weirdest names. Like, they have, like, orgasm and, like, super orgasm. And they have Deep Throat, which is, I don't know. I don't know how they come up with their names, but they're kind of sketchy. But it's just a peachy pink, and it looks like this. And this color works on a lot of people. Like, it works on me. I have really fair skin, so if you have fair skin, you want to go for the peaches um, or the plums. I know plums. Sounds crazy. Peaches and plums look, look good on me. I'm not sure, like, what hypothetically you're supposed to wear. Um, and this one was from by NARS, so it was, like, $26, I'm pretty sure. I I got it with a gift card to Sephora that I got, um, but it's definitely worth it. You're going to have this for a very long time, and the packaging is super cute. Um, it just gets really smudged easily because it's a matte, and I just dropped it. Um, I've been dropping everything today. So the next thing is a makeup brush, and it looks like this, and it's a Sigma. And this is a stippling brush. Um, some of the hairs are, like, falling out of it because I took it traveling, and I didn't really put it in, like, a kit, like a brush set, so it kind of got a little bit messed up. But, I mean, it is an old brush. I've had this for a couple months now. I know it's getting old. My little, poor little baby's growing up. <laughs> it's the SS187, and this was named before they, like, redid all their brush names. So, I'm not sure what it's called now, but it's just a medium size dual fiber brush. And I, it's actually pink on the top because I used it to apply my blush this morning. 
So yeah, I love this this brush. It's my favorite, all-time favorite Sigma brush. Definitely pick up a stippling brush if you don't have one. So the next thing, I forgot to put this after the eyeshadows, but whatever, is a lip glass by MAC. And it looks like this, and it's a really pretty bubblegummy pink. And it is in Cultured, or... Yeah, cultured. I read that right. Um, I think I've already mentioned this in a video, but it's a really, really pretty pink. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. Um, I'm not sure how much this was, but you can get it at your MAC counter, your MAC store, I'm pretty sure, or online. Um, it looks like this, and it's a pink necklace, and this is the flower that goes with it. So you wrap it around your neck like this. You put it like this around your neck, and then down here it has, you tie this in a little bow, and this little flower is like safety pinned on here and it has some little rhinestones in the middle. I wore this to my birthday party so it is a little bit messed up because of me moving around and hugging people all the time. This is really pretty and it's pink. Duh. It's pink all over. And the last thing is part of my room and it is a picture and it looks like this and it is black background. It has a pink pop, not poppy, I don't know why I was going to say poppy. Pink poppy, that just sounds good. Pink um, daisy. And I actually have two more, one's in orange and one's in yellow, and this one's in pink, of course. I'm going to be putting them, like, above my desk, like, symmetrically, like, orange, yellow, pink. But everything is still being, like, hung up and stuff. And over there um, is my changing area. Like, I'm making kind of like a dressing room, like, at a store. It's super cool. Like, super cool. Did I just say super cool? No one says super cool anymore. So, yeah, um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!